<sighs> Great, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of the completion of Super Mario Bros. All Stars. Today's episode. Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. Yep. And I usually do very good this game. Obvious Luigi. Let me do this. 1986 is when this game came out on the Famicom. Or probably Famicom this is. Poison Mushroom, don't get it. We should all know the history, if not, we've been living on a rough past. Oh, zero. The first game came out was 30 years ago, so 29 years is when this game came out. This game is really hard. Which is why I put up cheats right away. Remember our lives? Yeah, you're gonna see a whole lot. This game is brutal. And yes, I went by. Um, in the first one, you get yourself an infinite life trick. Though I said in the last episode, I was going to do it. I'm not doing it. Wait, she's fine. I'm going right here today. Oh, since this game is brutally hard, first part for this is the first two worlds. Because world one worlds can be as hard as world eight. I'm not even kidding. This game is brutal. If you've mastered the original, welcome to you haven't played Lost Levels. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I I beat this game a couple times. I gotta get through this in one run, which means I can lose as many as I can, but I can't get a game over. If not, I got the whole thing again. Which for this is where I'm gonna say I'm just gonna do safe states. Just save my state and tell you that's when the end of the episode is. Trust me, this game is really long. Smart Bros. is only for my round an hour. No problem. This game, add on an extra hour. <sighs> this is one of the toughest games on the Famicom. The toughest games for the, for a remake. One of the toughest. So, what's the difference between Mario and Luigi? Well, as you can tell. You can, but well, Luigi is so slippery, you can almost fall off the platform, and you can't stop yourself. So it's Luigi, bring a fire, fire, a fire flower wherever you can. And this is where Luigi comes to handful. He can actually jump over the flagpole. Good luck ever coming down, that is! You can get onto a crane... ...spring... ...and... ...wind up going to... ...in 3 one you can wind yourself going all the way to... ...world... ...from 3 one going to 1-1 again! However, in order to get back, you have to take a warp zone that you find at 1-2, and... ...no, uh, it's just... ...nope! And I messed up. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go through the story. Did that in the first part. I'm not going to do it. Because, well, it's the same game. But Nintendo decided to be. We're gonna make this game so hard. For the people who bought the original. Those who think I mastered it. Which is the original idea for this game. Can try and beat it. Our experience, you play as Luigi. In my case, Luigi is the best I can. Mario is very tough. Really? 
actually a really high jump. Under God. Here we go, world. <sighs> this game for the first time almost seven years ago. Seven eight years ago. First time I actually played this game. This game's really hard. I can't trust it enough. First time main grains springs send it really high in the air. Oh, that's a great combo. Okay. So world two is hard. World one is hard. World three is hard. Play up to world eight. Good luck on being it. All you can, all your bounces and jumps. The level design isn't good for this game. This is why some people can call this a ROM hack. This game is pretty much difficulty as best. A yeah, bad game is good. Good design at least. Maybe good plot that is. Or that. Why is that brick there? Can someone tell me why is the brick there? <sighs> Back to the beginning. Here's a problem with Luigi. Luigi has a high jump in this game. You're kidding. Look at his jump. He jumps really high. Easy for some. Mario can't jump that high. Good traction. Your main difference, Luigi could jump high. Bad traction. Mario. Mario's the same as who played the original. Where am I supposed to go? Why well, I can't jump to oblivion? Let's see here, here. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Invisible blocks. Say enough. It's the terrifying bridge. Here comes the fish. And the fish are out to bite me today. Go for Why is bloopers in the air? Now, here's a good question. Why am I not playing the original? Well, here's why. So, there is technically eight worlds same as the original. If you can beat this game in one successful run, there's actually nine worlds. Now, if you can beat the game eight times, you go to A through D. Who's gonna beat the game eight times to get to A through D? Plan on the original, go right ahead. But you can play this game once, play the all sorts part. Seriously, I'm not gonna play the game eight times just to get four additional worlds. Eight times? Good thing. It's impossible to do! I'm not gonna waste my time doing eight worlds. Oh. Mm. Ace 10, B11, C12. 
Oh, there's 13 worlds in the game. I'm not gonna play 13 worlds. I will in this part. Now, the original. Oh, plus a world nine. It's an infinite loop. Look for nine. Perfect! Ah. First two worlds? Yeah, we'll end it there. First two worlds will end today, and if you see that, then it is. Don't worry, it's just the emulator. Yes, just use an emulator here. Probably all know that. Next time, a heartache continues. We go through worlds three and four. I'm gonna hit myself by then. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night. Ugh, and take care.